we want you all to take a guess on what the top speed is of this 52 Thunder by Cigarette Boats, brand new boat with six Mercury Racing 500Rs mounted on the transom. We're gonna let you know throughout the video, but take a guess early on to see if you get it. We're gonna walk through this boat from the transom to the bow and get into every single detail. So enjoy, come along with us. Starting off at the transom, the first thing I want you to pay attention to is how quiet these Mercury Racing 500s are. I'm right on it and you can barely hear it. And once again, this is 3000 horsepower we're talking about. A lot of room in the transom of the 52 and they actually double this up as storage. So at a push of a button, you can lift this whole area up and utilize this as storage space to get anything you don't want up towards the front of the boat and get it out of the way. Starting off here at the port side, open this compartment. You have your battery switches, your fuses, your Seakeeper head unit, your shore power connection with an automatic cable in and out. You're gonna see JL Audio speakers throughout this entire boat. Fresh water wash down, your flush system for all six outboards conveniently placed right here. Really nicely set out of the way so you're not taking up valuable room inside the boat. I find it incredibly nice that they basically created an entire entertainment space back here in the transom, which normally is not utilized for anything. So I cracked this thing open. You have actually a table here to be able to set up drinks, cut some lines up, get your drink station set up. But when you open it, you have an entire summer kitchen out here, grill, sink, access to your trash. And then these compartments can basically be customized to whatever the owner wants. Here we have a bunch of storage. We have trash, like I said, but you can basically do anything you want. And just imagine how nice it is to have this stuff out of the way, the smoke from the grill, away from the boat and not bothering anyone else hanging up in that direction. Walking my way through the starboard entrance here, you can see that there's a door right here that you can close, shut this off, and make sure you're not losing a child or a puppy or anything of that nature while you're running 80 plus miles an hour on this boat. But you can leave it open if you wanna keep the flow nice and open. You got a starboard side door as well. Opens completely out of the way. Magnetizes against that whole side wall. Once you open this thing up, get it out of the way and you can deploy this ladder, which is connected. You don't have to grab it from another compartment. It lives right here. Drop this thing easily into the water and you actually also have a grab handle to make entrance, the entrance and exit very easy to do. A few things I wanted to mention first off were alternate power packages. You could do quad V12 600s by Mercury Marine. So that is another option if you were interested in that. Now some of the specs, this boat has a 14 foot beam, 29,000 pounds dry weight, holds 80, 880 gallons of fuel and 35 gallons of diesel. You have a Seakeeper 9 right underneath me and a water maker, which are both standard on this boat. This has an actuated panel that comes up out of the way to allow access to that, but it doubles up as a dining table as well, which pops up and creates an excellent entertainment space back here. Although the 52 Thunder is an 86 mile an hour boat, and that's right out of the box without being dialed in, it's built for comfort as well. As you can see, you got a huge L-shaped seat right here and also actuated access to your 15 kW generator right underneath this. And then this rear facing mezzanine seat, which can fit probably six people due to the width, doubles up as a sunbed, which we're gonna show you here in a second as well. So with all the heat we're experiencing, especially here in South Florida, shade is extremely important. You can see they have a sunshade style system right here that deploys out and basically covers this entire entertainment space from the sun, excellent option and I'm sure you can run this thing at a pretty decently high rate of speed. Check out the impact this thing makes on this boat. It makes it almost all the way past the summer kitchen, the grill back here. We haven't changed the angle of the boat and just look at the amount of shade this thing gives you. So obviously early morning, late afternoon, you're gonna have the sun lower. It's not gonna impact you quite as much, but when the sun is above you and at the hottest, this thing makes a huge difference. I wanted to point out a couple of details that we noticed just walking through the boat. You're gonna see these grills scattered around and actually behind that, you have 
JL Audio speakers throughout. So there's 34 speakers on this boat, 5,000 watts overall, incredible. And also you're gonna see Garmin MFDs all over the place. So pretty much anywhere on the boat, you can chime in, see where you're at. And a lot of this digital switching and a lot of these compartments, actuated hatches are controlled through these MFDs. Made it over to the Garmin and I found the hatch display. So we're gonna go ahead and open the machinery hatch, which is right here. Push that button, it makes it work. Now we're gonna go ahead and put up the cockpit dining room table right here. So it's pretty cool how they were able to integrate both the hatch with the storage underneath and this extra large dining table for the cockpit area. Just check out the size of this dining table once it's deployed. It takes this wide open spacious cockpit area and turns it into an excellent dining space. So you can fit, I mean, eight, 10 people here with absolutely no problem. Sit back, grab a drink, eat lunch, or even host a business meeting on this boat. They really did an excellent job and I just wanted to show you the size of it by sitting here and pretending I'm enjoying it for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Back to the Garmin here, I'm going to deploy the sunbed that we have yet to see. So this rear facing mezzanine seat doubles as a full sunbed. It deploys out on an actuator just like this, push of a button and you can lay out there, grab some sun or put the sunshade up and have your kids take a nap. Just some additional space for you to lay out and do your thing. Underneath this rear mezzanine seat and the second row of the leaning post, in this one in particular, you have two refrigerators here and a fridge freezer on the other side, which you can interchange depending on what you'd like. But since Bahamas cruising and things like that are on the menu for a boat like this, they wanted to make sure to add as much refrigeration as they possibly could. We noticed a Glen Denny freshwater wash down here. You can see only the best when you come to the cap. I'm not going to open that, but there's 50 feet of hose so you can rinse off pretty much anywhere on this boat. And then you have your switch just to engage it right there. Take a look at these crazy chairs that they have here on the Cigarette 52 Thunder. These are completely adjustable and shock absorbing. So there's several ways you can run this thing. You can basically put up this armrest right here and if you wanna just stand, you can adjust the height so the bend hits you right in that lower lumbar position and you're comfortable. You can put both armrests up and be tied in here. Really nice, you can put a foot up, whatever you wanna do. But if you decide you wanna sit, at a push of a button, you get the seat right up into a comfortable position. You got your foot placement perfect right there. Again, shock absorbing, and you can grab right here if you're doing 86 plus miles an hour. Really nice. As we reach the dash, there's a couple things I wanted to mention about the Cigarette 52 Thunder. There's a combination of carbon fiber and fiberglass in the hull. They have two layers of carbon and then fiberglass within that. The hardtop is 100% carbon fiber and so are some of these pieces here. So obviously very strong, very rigid and much lighter than just straight fiberglass. As we get into the dash here, we have triple Garmin MFDs. They look like they're 22 inches. Integrated digital switching as we've seen on some of the units throughout. We have bow thrusters both at the bow and at the transom so we can easily control this boat no matter where we're at and the wind conditions making it incredibly easy. You got some storage compartments throughout, a nice oversized hardtop with windshield, wipers and then we have the access into the cabin over on the port side pretty simple pretty clean and really gives you that jet fighter sports car feel when you're sitting here again i want to point out the fully adjustable and shock absorbing seats you got four of them here so you can get half your family or all your buddies right here with you and enjoy the high performance of the 52 cigarette thunder up top they have the vessel views for your mercury's your push button start and stop for the six outboards and then your fail-safe backup for your digital switching on the screens. So for the vertically challenged, you have this button right here, which operates a pedestal. I'm 5'8", I'm not a tall guy, and I can clearly see over this console with no problem, but if you wanna jack that thing up, I mean, you can sit here really comfortably. It's almost too high at this point, but you can adjust that anywhere you want to be able to navigate the boat how you wanna navigate it at the most comfortable position possible. As we make our way into the cabin, you're gonna see right over to the starboard side, you got your ignition switches, you got your JL Audio head unit, you got your control panel for your generator, DC power, all that easily accessible. And then on the other side, you have another Garmin MFD that controls all the digital switching 
in here. You got your television, refrigerator, freezer, privacy glass, your gyro outlets, um, everything. It's incredible. So you walk your way in and again, you have a 14 foot beam. So you have a nice ample space in here to just sit back and relax. Check out how cool this little detail is. We just found out if you wanted to come in here, this glass offers great natural light, kind of opens things up because you can see the water. It's really nice. But if you wanted a bit of privacy, privacy glass fogs up at a push of a button. And that again is controlled by the switching on the Garmin MFD. You can see you have a good amount of headroom in here. A lot of nice natural light coming through here. Galley with refrigerator, got some storage, your television right here, then a full berth, really good size. I can kind of lay back in here and show you what you got. Pretty comfortable. You can fit two, no problem at all. And then you got some additional seating on either side. If you want to just sit back here and relax open this door and you have closet little storage space and then to the left of that you have your private head and shower so when you're doing speeds close to 90 miles an hour the wind becomes a pretty serious factor so when you're tucked away it's no problem but if you have people kind of sitting in this area they actually added a wind deflector which is recessed into the console but at a push of a button actuated once again you can open that up and it's going to deflect that wind up to 85 miles an hour. Now we work our way up to the bow, the final piece of this very large 52 footer. Once you're in here, it feels so much bigger than what it felt like before when we saw it from the dock. But this entire piece right here, I wanna mention again, it's full carbon fiber. So it's a large piece, usually will add a lot of weight, but they can cut a lot of that out using carbon fiber and there's nothing that's gonna break this thing. So I'll walk my way forward. You're gonna see you have a lounger here, which is a really comfortable place to sit. And I'm sure in a big hefty 29 plus thousand pound vessel, this is a comfortable seat, even if you're running offshore to the Bahamas. So you can fit three people here, no problem. You can lay someone across the leg area, get some sun if you'd like. And then they add some additional seating here with a backrest, which is really cool. Can actually pop this open just like that. Again, a push of a button. If you want it out of the way, it's out of the way and you don't even realize it's there. But if you do want to sit back in this area and add a little bit of support, you can do that. And it really doesn't get much more comfortable than this. Besides having a ton of seating up here, you get great storage throughout this area. You can lift each one of these seats and store life jackets, anything you want to get out of the way there. Cup holders throughout. You have JL Audio 12 inch subwoofer, as well as two more speakers tucked right, left and right of the Garmin MFT here. And this has the MVI amp system. So you have different zones depending on where you are on the boat. So you can dial in this bow area, which might be its own space and an own, your own group of individuals hanging out here. The console area with the seating, then you have maybe one or even two more because you have that transom space with the summer kitchen. A couple of the final details I wanna show you up here is the retractable table up here in the bow. Again, you can lift this up. Normally you don't even see that there's something there, but you raise this thing up all the way up and it creates a nice dining experience up in this area. Lastly, I wanna show you this drum windlass that they have installed here. I've never been a huge fan of these windlass systems because they usually kink up on you. And most of the times you can't even use them just at a push of a button as they usually advertise them. But this drum system is incredibly powerful and it really eliminates the chance of this thing kinking up. So you can crank this thing up and down with absolutely no issue and it's become increasingly popular, especially on these larger boats with the space. Here's the other half of that windless system. It's a through hull finish, so you can't even see anything. Top side of the boat, really clean work that they did here. And you can operate this system from up here or the digital switching back on one of your MFDs.
So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's our walkthrough on the brand new Cigarette Boats 52 Thunder. And we've tried to go into every single detail to provide as much valuable information as we can for you all. So we hope you guys appreciate it. Thank you for following us. We appreciate your support. Like, subscribe, pass this along to anyone that may be interested in checking out the new 52 Thunder. My name is Alan Blanco with Center Consoles Only. Thank you as always, and we'll be back again very soon. Oh, 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 oh,